Welcome back to the player career mode. Welcome back to a new week of player career mode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your weekend. Welcome to your Monday afternoon entertainment. Of course, there'll be a Leeds United career mode episode on the main channel as well to keep you going. In the meantime, whilst you wait for the next My Player episode after today, once you've seen this one, we start with Basel in the Champions League today. We then follow that up with two important games in the Bundesliga, Union Berlin at home and Leipzig away. We are the sole remaining unbeaten team in the division. And we're unbeaten in the Champions League as well so far. So fingers crossed that can continue too. We're of course saying thank you for your continued support on this save and the channels all told. Today we're saying thank you to uh, Van Winkel, to uh, Isabel and Poppy TV and to uh, to Adam Heddle as well. Thank you, Matt. Thank you very much for all of your continued support on all of the content. So we know what we're doing. We might as well just get into it, mightn't we? Drop the video a like, subscribe to the channel and... Join me in Switzerland. Complete four passes in the opponent's half and dribble success rate at 25%. They won a 9.0. Now, Basel haven't picked up any points in the first two match days. So, after losing to ourselves and losing... Sorry, after losing to Milan, who drew with ourselves, and losing to uh, Ajax as well, you would imagine that they'll lose to us too, is Barry. Okay. Thank you. Christ, he just ran through everyone. That's a good leap by me. It's not gone to a teammate. It has fallen kindly, though. Play me quick from offside. Thank you. Right. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I was in and I was screaming for it. He just wouldn't bloody kick it quickly enough. And yeah, I was considerably offside, actually. Further off than I thought. Ten minutes to go in this first half. That's all there's been so far. Nothing doing in the first half. So fingers crossed this second 45 actually provides something. Well, there's not even been anything to cut out to potentially be a highlight thus far. Until, potentially, now. Oh my god, that flag! What is happening? Ah! Good. Good, really well made game. It's still nil-nil. Apologies if you've got epilepsy. You might have developed it from that. K. Cowell with a header. Good save by Vindal. It's still nil-nil here. Alright, something's happening at the beginning of the second half then. That is over me. And Barashitz will get rid of it. Kraft, however, brings it down. Can we go for another worldie? It's on target, but it's saved well by Vindal again. Ten minutes into the second half. Finally, some goal math action. But, unfortunately, no actual goals. Tom Roth to Bove. To me, K. Cowell's making the run. Try and play it before he gets offside. And then catch up with the play if I can to be in a position to receive it again. Just like that. As a carbon copy of the worldie we spoke about against Leverkusen in the last episode on Friday. We've only gone and bloody done it again. Lovely counter-attacking move, but the finish, by the way, if you don't mind my saying so. First time, 21 metres, floated over the keeper, and golasso. That's nicely done. Am I in again? Well, I, mean, I am, but I'm not. I am. Oh, but it's saved well. It falls free. And an advantage was played. And unfortunately, that advantage was not for us. Cade Cowell buries it, but Cade Cowell was offside and it won't count. I maybe should have played the pass inside anyway to Bove, but decided to go for goal. And turns out I definitely should have passed it. Because then we really would have been 2-0 up. I'm just going to piss about with it at the back and we're going to win 1-0. However, that one could be potentially 2 Vindal with a good save. It is not two. Maybe I should have put my laces through that rather than trying to finesse it with a bit more precision. Malone wins the header well. It's going to come out here to Co to Cowell. Sorry. Oh, that was a pass to me, was it? I thought it was just a first touch. I think it actually might have been just a terribly, awfully taken, bobbled first touch from Mr. James. But we win by a goal to nil thanks to my worldie. It could have been two or more. I could have had two or more. And after dick all happened in the first half, at least something did in the second and we'll take all three points. I imagine AC Milan have beaten Ajax, but regardless, we'll be top of the group still. Man of the match performance, two of the three objectives. So, of course, I go down in manager favour after scoring the only goal in a 1-0 win. Union Berlin at home next in the Bundesliga. After we were victorious against Leverkusen, they've bounced back and gotten victory again. So they now are four points clear of us once more. Bayern Munich have Wolfsburg at home. 
on their match day, which is coming on the Sunday. So if we can win this next match, we will go back second, albeit for 24 hours at least. And Jan Berlin aren't a bad side, though. They're in eighth, in different start to the season, but definitely beatable for sure. What's my activity? Beats Ambassador. I probably should have guessed that, shouldn't I? I very nearly have enough to be able to afford to buy myself a plane. Good. Well, let's... I'd, ra I'd rather just have three points and no plane, to be honest. Four passes in the opponent's half. Possession rate of 60% is doable, for sure. But Union are the sort of side that could certainly have a bit of the ball themselves and put themselves about the pitch a little bit to ensure that we don't dominate the game. Kraft could get this back inside to me here and it would be a great way to start. It is not a great way to start. Umbeso is taking it off me. Richarlison. Now, that's not a name I expected to see in Union Berlin's starting lineup here today. With a delivery, too. But Kubel's underneath it. Who else have they got in their 11 then? Any more shock surprise names in here? Bernal Ingola reading. Garcia reading. Pereira Solet, 84. And Beso, Oli Paul reading. Gorda Duaf. Coop Mainers. Finn Olabeka. Beto up top alongside Richarlison. Certainly some unsurprising... Oh, no, not... Not unsurprising. Surprising names in there. Enes Unel has made his way to Union Berlin as well. It's almost as if the AI manager here paid attention to my career mode with Union Berlin over on the main channel. Free kick Union. Coop managed to take it. That actually might cause us some problems. It has done. Richarlison's won the header. And that is 1-0 Union Berlin here at Zignal Iduna Park. Going to do the old pigeon. And he's gone and pecked him a 1-0 lead. Rope to me. First touch is decent. Ride the challenge. Oh, I was looking for the top left. I think it must have taken the deflection off the defender because it skewed, did it? Well, it's actually gone through his leg. So it's going to be a goal kick. It went quite literally through the defender's leg. Genuinely was aiming for top left. And my guy skewed it towards the bottom right. And it still didn't even find the target, let alone go into the back of the net. It's the best chance we've had to equalise yet, but there's still only 20 minutes played, so plenty of time to find at least one goal back. But Union are trying to ensure that we need two goals back, even to get a point from this one. Our unbeaten record at the moment is very much under threat here. Roth picks that off nicely. Maybe the run, please, Cade. Thank you, mate. I'm going again. I'm going again. Why would you go backwards? Fontana. Cade Cowell. Row. Row. Me! Goal! Was I on? Yes, I was. Lovely! 1-1. One, one. We're back on level terms. I just ran straight down the bloody middle. And it somehow eventually found me on my left foot. Nice tackle by Castello. Bove. Here's Rowe. Support from Kraft and Rowe again. Kraft again. Bove, go back, there you go. Trying to work some space here. I'll call from it from Fontana. I'm not going to get it. Cowell will look for me, but Umar Solet takes it away from me. Put the defender under pressure. We've got a lot of bodies forward here. Did I win that? I did. I probably should play the pass. I'm greedy and I've hit the post. Oh, bloody hell. Union are doing everything they can to gift us a second goal. Christ alive. They are taking all the risks back here. 2-1. They have gifted us the second goal. Holy moly. They are bottling this, aren't they? Coop Mainers nicely into Beto. Picked off by Harwood Bellis. And Kraft. Get that out wide. And oh, now Martinez could come back. I'm pretty desperate for a hat-trick in a minute, to be honest. We really should have had one already here at Dortmund. And <sighs> were denied the opportunity, shall we say by the manager allowing someone else to take a penalty when I'd already scored two. I've scored two here. We were very much gifted the second of the three, and if they want to be generous again, Union, I'd very much be particularly delighted to take another off their hands. Bove, he's gone for goal there. To be fair, I was greedy earlier in the game as well when I'd only scored the one and hit the post, and then eventually the second did come for me when my teammate did what I should have done and played the pass. It was the obvious thing to do in that scenario as well, though, to be fair. Cowell, a call for the through ball. He won't quite get it to me. Pereira's cut that out nicely. 25 minutes to go here. I am still pretty desperate for that hat-trick, but I'm not sure whether it's actually going to come here. 
Richarlison is going to try and get Union Berlin another goal in this game, but it's not going to happen for them at the moment. They're desperate to get an equaliser. I'm desperate for a third. Who's going to get what they want? Probably neither of us, and it'll end 2-1. <laughs> That's poor. Cowell. Doing it again, Union. Doing it again. Win that header. Well up. Oh, really? There are like five yellow certs then. You pick out the one red one. Deary me. Oh, they're doing it again. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Union Berlin. We've scored a hat-trick in Germany. Oh, my God. Never have we been gifted so many goals in the same game. They took a 1-0 lead as well and looked very, very good for it too. And they've just quite literally... No, they're not thrown it away. They've exploded it away. And depending on what happens with uh, Bayern Munich tomorrow in-game, we might seal second place. We'll certainly be second as the full-time whistle sounds here because, as we mentioned before, Bayern play on the Sunday. Here's Nick Pavic potentially going for another goal to get me an assist as well. It's bobbled three off the keeper, but it won't be another goal. But 3-1 will do a hat-trick for me for only the fourth time in my competitive career. Fifth time overall in my career, if you include that one against East Bengal. Not sure whether you do include that one against East Bengal, to be honest. And a match day ball for me and a 10 out of 10. Oh, what a beautiful day. Stuttgart win 4-2 against Augsburg, but none of those other results, they really affect us at this stage. Match ball for me. Weirdly, every time you get a match ball in the dressing room, it's a Champions League one. I don't really know why, considering that was a Bundesliga game. High match performance. Uh, I'll praise my teammates. I can't really pat myself on the back. We were given the goals, effectively. They were not necessarily earned, were they? Uh, anyone else interested in me? No, still just West Ham, Mainz and Wolfsburg. It is RB Leipzig that we face next which is not going to be straightforward, although they've only got 10 points by Munich 1, unfortunately. So they've won 8 from 9. We are still unbeaten, though. And Leipzig down in 13th so far this season. And he's unlike them. I'm sure a lot of domestic German fans would be delighted to see Ebe Leipzig down in 13th because they're not necessarily the most popular of teams in Germany. But hopefully we can make every other fan of every other team happy by beating them here. Three shots on target. We certainly got those in the last game. And a possession rate of 55%. Don't know as we actually got that in the last one. I think we might have done against Union, considering they just kept giving us the ball. Here, away from home at the Red Bull Arena. Another real-life ground here in the Bundesliga for us to play in. It's another reason to enjoy playing in Germany. It's always, especially in the Pro Cam as well. It's always nice to see... Some of the uh, the real-life grounds from different angles in-game. Christopher and Kunku's made his way back to Leipzig. Back to Leipzig? I'm sure he was at Leipzig before he went to Chelsea, wasn't he? And Kunku into Gutierrez. And Kunku and Gutierrez again tackled. And we will clear it. No, we won't. I just want to uh, have a quick look and see how good their team is or isn't. Nick Pope in goal. Purvis is Stupinian, Roger Rubanez, Jorel Harto and Kieran Tierney. Jose Manuel Gutierrez and Guido Rodriguez. Christopher and Kunku at 88. Danny Olmo 87. Chris back alongside Marco Jelovic up top. A 94 rated Brandon Cook. A 94 rated Dallas Greenleaf on the bench here. A 95 rated Billy Bibby. Three 90 plus rated players not able to make it into the starting lineup. But it's not like the starting lineup is bad though for Leipzig to justify why they are where they are in the league. They've got a very good team. They very nearly had a 1-0 lead to go with that half-decent team as well. And Kunku's shot cannons off the legs of Kubel and will clear the corner, thankfully. Get it into him anyway. Pavic back to row. It was Pavic. Nice to see Pavic start a game. Fafana driving past everybody up against the defender here. We'll turn well. We'll find a teammate. Row, lovely ball. Pavic, Bove. Bove still. Lucky. Again. But we'll take it. Bayfal Bay 1. Ebe Leipzig nil. Bove had to get very fortunate that the ball pinballed back to him, but it was particularly good football. Yeah, it's just it's just one of those FIFA-style goals, isn't it? Thankfully, it's in our favour. He's controlled it with one foot there, Harto, and then knocked it straight back to us with the other, and I think actually it might have gone through my leg on the way into the net as well. Out to Danny Olmo. 87 rated Danny Olmo. Someone I don't think I've actually used in career mode, but definitely someone that 
I should use in career mode because he's very, very good, Danny Olmo. Here's Guido Rodriguez as Leipzig look for an instant response. Gutierrez, they nearly get their instant response. Kubel drawn into the save. And a corner for Leipzig once more from the far side from the aforementioned Danny Olmo. It's not bad. And Kunku's underneath it. Keeper does save it. And it was pretty straightforward for him to do so. A call from this out wide. Screaming for it. Screaming for it. Quickly before anyone else gets near me. Thank you. Right. Teammates, run. Pavic is through there. I'm going to go again. He tried to find me. This time Harto does get in the way and keep it away. It's a solid challenge. A fair one, apparently. Gutierrez on the edge of the box with options. None of which he decided to use. Over with a lovely ball for Pavic. Just keep running, Nick. Just keep running, Nick. I'm going to try and get myself in a position where you can utilise me. And teammates arriving. Bove shot deflected. Harto in the way this time and does get the proper block on it. Out for a corner. Now then, what can we do from this? That's headed not my way. It is headed my way. Pope with the save though. Well, one goal to the good already. Not yet able to find a second, but fingers crossed we won't need to. Jelovic racing forward. Nicely intercepted. And now Martinez into Pavic. I'll call for the through ball. And if it's good enough, I'm in. It is good enough. I am in. And we've hit the post again. How the oh, bum holes has that happened then? I think he used his left there as well, actually. I mean, why in this situation would he then go with his left? Like that is, wow, he's kind of, he's on his right foot here. And then I power up for the shot and he plants his right foot inside the ball. And then he shoots with his left and it hits the post. <sighs> it's a wonder I got a hat-trick in the last game, isn't it, really? With the way that my guy's been finishing so far today. I actually feel like I've had one of my better episodes with regards to my link-up play. But unfortunately, we haven't necessarily got the overall goal contributions to show for it. I've been banging the ball into the back of the net myself quite well. But despite some excellent passing from myself in today's episode... I haven't yet managed to get myself an assist. In fact, have I got many assists in our time at Dortmund so far? A couple? Just two in back-to-back -back games earlier on in the Bundesliga season, but not for a long time. Goals, on the other hand, free-flowing. Let's go that extra mile. I think I won that header. Yep, says nice pass. I definitely won the header. Oh, left him for dead. Right, this time says, finish it at the near post. There you go. Look look what happens when he actually uses his right foot. It goes in. It's all about the celebration, but... My 10th goal in 10 Bundesliga games. We're having a Harry Kane-esque influence on this Borussia Dortmund side. In terms of goal scoring, anyway. I hope we don't have a Harry Kane-esque influence on this Borussia Dortmund side the same way that we did at Tottenham, in that we didn't get a bloody trophy. We're already out of the Pakal early doors in the tournament. So it's the Champions League and the Bundesliga only for us to consider this year here at Dortmund. It would be quite the double if we did it. But we're not able to uh, get too carried away at the moment because Bayern and Leverkusen are very much still in the title picture here in Germany. But we're a driving force and certainly one of the favourites. And if my goal scoring can keep up for the whole season at this current rate, it may well be my best season of my career which would be pretty impressive at this stage, at this level, considering we had some wonderful seasons in Austria and Poland, goal scoring wise. Really pleased with the win, really pleased with my goal scoring form at the moment as well. That's three games scored in, in a row now, I think. Come on, show me, ooh, walking into the back of my bloody teammate. Show me me, show me, oh, no, it's not going to show me the stats. Yeah, th four games scored in, in a row now. That was an 8.8 .8 with a 25%. Goal conversion percentage. It is man of the match. Not only is it four games scored in, it's four man of the matches in a row as well. 91 minutes, I think, played and a 2-0 win thanks to Bove and myself. Quite the run of form for Lever for Leverkusen for Dortmund. Quite the run of form for me. That is one, four, five, six in my last four. In my last five. Eight in six. Ten in seven. 10 in 8, 12 in 9, 13 goals in my last 10 games. I think I um, did that right. And yes, it wasn't man of the match. It says 8.9 there, not 
So I'll take the 8.9 when it's one notch better. Only the one objective this time, but because it was the match rating, not the other two, uh, we're able to uh, improve our manager favour there. Manager favour hasn't really been that much of an issue for us in the last couple of seasons, has it really? Uh, nope, still no more sides interested in me. Am I going to be a Beats ambassador? No, it was a victory in the derby, apparently. I didn't realise that Dortmund versus Leipzig was a derby of any description. Apparently so, though. Well, we look good for a Dortmund contract, don't we, for next season, if you guys would like me to stay here. I need one more goal from outside the box to guarantee being able to stay at Dortmund. I need 15 more assists. They've not been very forthcoming so far this season. So... I'm not sure whether Real Madrid would actually be a destination we might find ourselves headed to. It's Champions League against Basel again at the beginning of the next episode, but I'm more concerned about the Bundesliga right now. We're still third, we're still unbeaten, but Bayern just keep winning, as the Leverkusen. So it's a three-way fight at the top. Maybe Frankfurt would consider themselves part of it as well, having won as many games as us and only two points behind as well. Potentially a four-way title fight, although you'd imagine Frankfurt would fall off. But ourselves, Leverkusen and Bayern Munich will probably take it all the way to the end of the season. That's all the way to the end of the episode. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this eighth season at Borussia Dortmund here in the player career. I very much am. It could very well be the best season of my career. Let's see what my goal scoring stats are for the season all told, actually, considering I've been scoring well in the Champions League as well. Four in three in the Champions League. I didn't score in the Pokal, and that's probably why we got... Knocked out, actually, to be fair. But 14 in 14 thus far. Very good. Very good indeed. And it says I've only got two assists. Yet it says in the objective thing, I've got three for Real Madrid. So I'll take the extra assist. Thank you very much. Not sure how that counts. Maybe because I won the penalty in a previous... No, because we missed the bloody penalty. I have no idea. Regardless... One thing I do know for sure is that you should join me tomorrow for the next episode. So I'll see you then.